possibilities as far as who could have done it. Um, supposedly, Mr. Borden was not a well-liked man. Just the fact that the two murders were so spaced apart, like, it makes sense that at least somebody in the home must have done it. And certainly she had a lot of motivation, so I think, I think she did it. Yeah. I think it was, I think it was Lizzie. I just, you know, Occam's razor, do you know that theory? The most direct straight line is that Lizzie did it. Um, I do think Lizzie did it, uh, and there are a lot of reasons for that, but, you know, purely forensically, I think that that, that is, that tells me that I think she did do it. So, yes. It, it, it seems pretty clear. However, I will say that um, the justice system being what it is, she was found not guilty. So regardless of what it is that I think, she was still found not guilty. And that's an important, an important thing that shouldn't be lost either. I really do think that Lizzie Borden killed her stepmother and father. And I don't know her motivation, but yeah, I think she's guilty. You know, I think her sister went out of town, and she had her opportunity, and she took it. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's a crime of the century, right? It's one of those things. I think that it's best to not know. What would the point be? We wouldn't have a legend if we knew. Or it wouldn't be, wouldn't be something we still sing about or write about in the same way. Uh, the excitement is the what if. Um, and we'll never know, and I think that's fantastic. Oh, she's absolutely guilty. Um.